U.S. President Joe Biden defended his decision to withdraw U.S. troops from Afghanistan. In a speech at the White House, Biden said that he learned the hard way that there is never a good time to withdraw U.S. forces. However, Bi Biden pointed out that American troops should not fight in a war, that the Afghan military is not willing to fight themselves. The truth is, this did unfold more quickly than we had anticipated. So what's happened? Afghanistan political leaders gave up and fled the country. The Afghan military collapsed, sometime without trying to fight. If anything, the developments of the past week reinforced that ending U.S. military involvement in Afghanistan now was the right decision. American troops cannot and should not be fighting in a war and dying in a war that Afghan forces are not willing to fight for themselves. The Pentagon also pushed back at the notion that they did not prepare for all scenarios in the fight against the Taliban. Pentagon spokesman John Kirby also said that for now, their main mission is to secure the airport in Afghanistan. When you practice this, was one of the scenarios a complete Taliban takeover uh, of the capital? It would certainly be wrong to conclude that the United States military did not view as a distinct possibility uh, that the the Taliban uh, could overrun the country and uh, and including uh, Kabul. Now, as we've talked about here many times, uh, it happened very fast. Um, and one of the things that we couldn't anticipate and didn't anticipate was the degree to which uh, Afghan forces capitulated, sometimes without a fight. Nobel Peace Prize winner Malala Yousafzai said U.S. President Joe Biden has a lot to do and must take a bold step to protect the Afghan people. In a video interview, Lala said global leaders must focus on making sure that the people of Afghanistan are safe in this time of humanitarian crisis. She's appealing to other countries, especially the U.S. and neighboring nations, to open their borders to displaced people and ensure that refugees have access to education, safety, and protection. In 2009, Malala blogged under a pen name for the BBC about living under the rule of the Pakistani Taliban. In 2012, she survived being shot in the head by a Taliban gunman for campaigning against their attempts to deny women education. And in 2014, she became the youngest ever Nobel Peace Prize laureate at age 17. I have been uh, you know, trying to reach out to many uh, global leaders. I think every country has a role and responsibility right now. Countries need to open their borders to Afghan refugees, to the displaced people. President Biden has uh, has to take a bold step for the protection of, of the people of Afghanistan.